10 things that you should do before you file for divorce in Texas. If you're considering a divorce, but you're in a, a domestic violence situation, then first thing is to be safe. Get out. Don't worry about these things. They're not worth risking your life. But if you can safely do so, these are 10 things in a checklist to think about doing before you file for divorce in Texas. Number one, if you're not the person who primarily pays the bills, find out what all the normal bills are and how they get paid each month and get copies of the most recent statements for all the regular monthly bills. Number two, make sure that you have copies of at least the last six months of monthly statements for every financial account in either your name or your spouse's name, all your investments, all of your retirement accounts. Number three, if you're going to request child support, get a copy of the spouse's last three months of pay stubs and your last two years of income tax returns with the W-2s. Number four, if you have photos on your cell phone that you think might be something that you would use in court or might be good evidence, then you need to get those photos downloaded someplace safe where they won't get lost or erased and make printed copies of the photos. You can download them like at Walgreens or go online to something, uh, a software program and make those into five by 10 photos. Number five, put copies of all of those things in a safe place. You might want to get a safe deposit box or give them for safekeeping to a friend or relative who can keep them safe and so that your spouse cannot hide them or destroy them once you file for divorce. Number six, if you can safely do so and your spouse is cooperative, go together and separate out two separate bank accounts, one in your sole name, one in your spouse's sole name, and preferably at different banks from where your joint bank account is. Then you need to decide how you're going to pay those monthly bills because you want your paycheck direct deposited into your sole bank account, but you're going to need to probably transfer some money back into the joint account every month to make sure that the bills are covered. So talk about that with your spouse and make sure that you, you emphasize that this is temporary. It could change once you get to final divorce. Next, if you do not have a credit card in your own name, open a new credit card solely in your name and keep that account in your name only. Number eight, make a budget of all of your monthly expenses as they would be if you were living on your own without your spouse's income. Number nine, make a list of the major assets that you own with the value of what you think they're worth. And number 10, make an appointment and talk to an attorney. Find out what your debts and assets should be divided in a fair division before you make anything into an agreement and don't sign any written agreement until you've talked to an attorney. My name is Laura Hurd and I have practiced law in San Antonio, Texas since 1987. If you have questions, give me a call. I'm at 210-655-9090 and you can click like or subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I do. I did. I'm done. Come see me.